World News and Events COVID-19 on May 25, 2020. Please respectfully welcome everyone. Following is the general news related to the world and events COVID-19 as follows. U.S. places travel restrictions on Brazil. The U.S. has suspended entry for anyone who has been to Brazil in the previous 14 days as the number of cases in the South American country spike. White House spokeswoman Kaylee Massenini said the new measure would ensure that foreign nationals did not become a new source of infection in the U.S. but did not affect the flow of trade between the two countries. Only green card holders, relatives of U.S. citizens and crew members are exempt from the new measure. 2. Update the world about COVID-19. Updated at 11.10 Asian time, May 25, 2020, to date. Two fifteen countries and territories worldwide have recorded cases of COVID-19. The United States is the country with the highest number of people infected. In the world, 5,500,577 people are infected and 346,719 people die, of which the United States has 1,686,442 people infected and 99,330 deaths. Brazil has 363,211 people infected and 22,666 deaths. Russia has 344,481 people infected and 3,541 deaths. Spain has 282,370 people infected and 28,678 deaths. England had 259,559 people infected and 36,793 people died. Italy had 229,858 people infected and 32,785 people died. France has 181,575 people infected and 28,132 deaths. Germany has 180,105 people infected and 8,371 deaths. Turkey has 156,827 people infected and 4,340 deaths. Iran has 135,701 people infected and 7,417 deaths. India has 138,041 people infected and 4,014 deaths. China had 82,974 people infected and 4,634 died. Peru has 115,754 people infected and 3,373 deaths. Meanwhile, according to the Worldometer statistics page, up to six hours on 25 May, the world recorded 5,491,194 cases of COVID-19, including 346,326 deaths and 2,000,000. 298,806 patients recovered. Canada has 84,081 people infected and 6,380 deaths. 3. News on U.S.-China relations. According to Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yai, Wang Yai, the U.S.-China is nearing the edge of the new Cold War. Speaking on the sidelines of China's National Assembly session on May 24, Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yai affirmed that U.S.-China relations are on the brink of a new type of Cold War, according to DW. According to Mr. China and the U.S. should try to avoid having the Cold War and find ways to cooperate despite many disagreements. According to the South China Morning Post, Foreign Secretary Wang said, We must be alert to the actions of some political forces in the U.S. in order to use our control of relations between China and the United States as well as those seeking to push the two countries towards the Cold War. Wang Yai also added, This is a dangerous attempt to change the course of history. Wang asserted that China and the U.S. would benefit from cooperating and would suffer losses if confronted. He said that the two sides must find a way to coexist peacefully and should start coordinating macro policies for each country's economy as well as the world economy, according to Reuters. Wang made the appeal in the context of tension in the U.S. and China, including trade, the COVID-19 pandemic and the Hong Kong situation. Earlier, President Donald Trump said he was very disappointed about China in responding to COVID-19 and said, We can sever all ties with China. 4. Brazilian News 
Brazil says it has recorded nearly 350,000 cases of COVID-19 so far, including more than 22,000 deaths, while worldometers reported that by the morning of May 25, the number of COVID-19 cases in the country was high. The South American population has surpassed 350,000 to 363,211, with 22,666 deaths, the second highest in the world after the U.S. 5. Argentina News on May 24, Argentine President Alberto Fernandez signed an ordinance extending the compulsory social isolation measure until June 7 after noting a sharp increase in the number of new COVID-19 cases over the past few days. The number of cases of COVID-19 in Argentina has increased sharply over the past week, especially in poor areas in the capital, making the situation more complicated and unpredictable in the near future. As a result, the Argentine government was forced to extend the quarantine order to be in effect since March 20. According to official statistics, Argentina has recorded 11,340 cases of COVID-19, including 445 deaths. 6. English News British Prime Minister Boris Johnson said schools in England will reopen from June 1 with students from the beginner, class of 1st and 6th class immediately. A week later, Therefore, students in grades 10 and 12 will have some class time with teachers to help them prepare for the junior high school graduation exam, GCSE, and college preparatory system, a level. In 2021, speaking at a news conference, Prime Minister Johnson said that the final decision would be made on May 28, the day the government will meet to review the blockade measures every three weeks that the UK has taken since when applying blockade orders last March. He currently records 257,154 cases of COVID-19, including 36,675 deaths, the fifth highest in the world in terms of the number of people infected and co-ordinated globally in the number of deaths due to COVID-19. 7. Turkey News the Turkish Ministry of Health's notice said that in the past 24 hours, an additional 1,141 cases of COVID-19 were recorded, bringing the total number of COVID-19 cases to 156,827. Meanwhile, the total number of deaths in Turkey is 4,340, with 32 new cases recorded. In addition, in the past 24 hours, there were 1,092 patients cured. 8. News of Saudi Arabia Saudi Arabia's Ministry of Health announced an additional 11 deaths due to COVID-19 and 2,399 new cases. Up to now, the number of COVID-19 deaths in Saudi Arabia is 390 out of 72,560 cases. In an effort to curb the spread of COVID-19 during Eid al-Fitr, Saudi Arabia imposed a 24-hour blockade order until May 27. 9. South Africa News. In South Africa, over the past 24 hours, an additional 1,218 cases of COVID-19 have been recorded, with 10 deaths, bringing the total number of infected people to 21,343, of which 407 deaths. On the evening of May 24 local time, President Cyril Ramaphosa announced that he would relax the national blockade order from the current level 4 to level 3, starting on June 1, which would include allowing number of economic sectors resumed operation, as well as removing some restrictions related to people's travel. In a live broadcast on national television the same day, President Ramaphosa emphasized that the decision to loosen the blockade was an important step in a disease control strategy that was adapted to the situation. This water coating applied in recent times. This is also the period in which the country will strengthen its responses to the COVID-19 epidemic more intensely and in depth. 10. Vietnam News as of 7 H, May 25, Vietnam has entered the 39th day without new cases of COVID-19 reported in the community. The current number of cases is 325, with 267 cases reported to be cured. The remaining 58 patients are being treated at health facilities across the country, of which 11 cases have had negative test results with COVID-19 from one time or more. 12. Russian News 
Currently, the number of COVID-19 infections in Russia has reached 335,882 cases, including 3,388 deaths and 107,936 recovering patients. Russia is currently the third highest number of COVID-19 cases in the world after the U.S. and Brazil. Our newsletter is now over. Thank you for always watching and supporting our videos. Knowledge of Coronavirus, Channel and Travel for all fans respectfully and see you in the next video.